My name is Jim Houts. I'm with Molecular Imaging Products in Bend, Oregon. We've shown you the 10 second test and now I'd like to show you how to trace down a leak if you cannot find one when you're doing that 10 second test. And why are leaks important? If there is a leak in the system, if there's positive pressure when the animal exhales, those gases that are in the system will come out to the workplace and then the operator gets exposed to the inhalant anesthetic. And if the leak is big enough, when there's negative pressure in the system, the animal takes a breath, it could draw in room air and dilute down the concentration of anesthetic within the breathing circle. So we're going to demonstrate to you how to trace down a leak on the uh, rebreathing head. I have my thumb over the end of the white piece. I use my hand to close the pressure relief valve. I'm using the O2 flush to fill up the bag and I'd like to put about 30 to 40 centimeters of water pressure into the system. But it's not holding, and I know that I have a leak, but I might not be able to trace it down. We could have leaks in the rebreathing hoses, it could be in the collars for the rebreathing hoses on the fixtures here, it could be any part of this rebreathing head. I'm going to squirt some Windex on the system to see if I can find that leak because it will bubble up quite nicely with the Windex. And if you can see that, the Windex is showing me that the leak is at the dome of the exhalation valve and someone just forgot to tighten that dome down. 